service learning as a term actually has two components. It's in the title. It's service and it's learning. Service learning is a 50-50 split. It's a 50% emphasis on service and it's a 50% emphasis on what you're learning throughout the whole experience. It's a new way of looking at how we teach. To really show the kids the value of, of the education they were getting here at school. Service learning is empowerment. It gives all the participants a voice. It changes who we are as people, how we lead, and it changes whole community landscapes by how the community is taken care of and how it's taken to a new place. It's nothing you do in the classroom. It's a lot more than that because you can take this stuff in service learning with you throughout life. Kids come in all the time and they wonder, why don't we, gotta, why don't we have to learn this stuff? And if they don't see that in context, it's really hard for a fifth grader to understand why they really need to un uh, learn. So I got real experience rather than just saying, oh yeah, I read this in a book once. Unless they have service learning opportunities, they are not really sure maybe how to apply what they've learned. The cognitive thing is made real and memorable by adding a service component to it. You actually do the stuff. You don't talk about it. You don't take notes over it. You actually do it. It makes the core classes make sense to students, whether they're fourth graders or twelfth graders. And I realized that everything that I was learning with relationship building and all of the written stuff in books didn't really come to life until I was able to put it into practice. I think that that gave me a better grasp on what to expect when I do get out into the real world. It bridges the experience gap. Education comes and looks at how do we connect the dots to academics. Youth serving agencies come to service learning with that lens of how can I help this young person grow. I think it's integral to get that student into the community giving them the voice and the leadership skills to meet needs and that's how not only will they learn but they'll already become a, the very member of the community that you're preparing them to enter into. We have to do something to keep our best people here and the best way to do that is get them to care. As service learning helps promote things like problem solving skills, students abilities to work in a team, to work in diverse environments, to try to synthesize and apply information um, on their feet while they're working on a dynamic project. All of those components help build student success. Creativity is a central skill that our students must hone and having to serve in the community and address problems in the community forces them to hone that skill. Our study showed that all of the students that went through this engaged experiential learning graduated, 100% of them graduated. And the average for a student not involved in that was less than 40%. So all of a sudden you have a 60% greater chance of graduating by being involved in service learning. We've got over 200,000 students in Tennessee in higher education and the opportunity to focus some of their attention on local community needs um, is, a, is a tool which we are hopeful uh, the state legislature and the governor and all the metropolitan county governments will realize and, and partner with them to help them engage those students. It will make a, make a huge difference and as I said students are looking for that opportunity already. An institution like a university was in the community I think they have a responsibility uh, to be engaged with that community. I feel like the colleges within universities should be giving things back to the community, say like the College of Business, helping people with their accounting and helping them with their um, taxes and things like that. If we're going to do it well, it can't be on Fridays. Uh, and it can't be uh, a monthly event. It's got to be a process of learning and learning is every day. I think we should do these more often, like try to do one every day as much as we can. The nation has endorsed academic service learning and it's up to us, the champions of it, to continue to keep it in the forefront. I believe that we as Americans are obligated to uh, train our, our young people, our students, to become more civic-minded citizens. Tennessee is the, volu we're the volunteer state, so volunteerism is so important here and it's just so great to have this whole wave of service learning, incredibly talented, dedicated, committed, fabulous people working with so many organizations and doing such great jobs.